Okay, welcome to my Facebook Live. This webinar, Facebook event, called How to Give People What They Want, Mastering the Art of Empathy. Now, for those of you who are connecting now, and we've been on Connected for quite a few minutes already, and if you don't know me, my name is Omar Redemar. They call me the voice of the change makers in the Northeast, and I take that with pride, but also with responsibilities. Now, how do we do that? I want to welcome you first of all, and for those of you who don't know me, well, I'm a life coach, I'm an entrepreneur coach, I'm a speaker, motivator, and a, prof and a network marketing professional. And one of the things I love most, you know, I've helped people throughout these last six years, five, six years, I've helped many people find their breakthroughs in life in different areas, financially, personally, and individually, different type of needs. And one of the things that I've noticed and I've learned throughout these years is being able to understand people. And when I was reading over this, you know, I was watching a training, one of my multimillionaire mentors, Jeff Alterberg, he was given a, a, a good uh, Facebook Live also, and training about a, um, a poll or some statistics. There was a study that was held actually, and it was on how to, you know, what do people want and what keeps them from getting it. So what I did was I made it as a question and I created this webinar after that, but I did also different type of research on stuff. So today I'm actually gonna talk, only gonna go on three of the things, the main things that people want in life and what keeps them from getting it. I'm gonna show you real quick. Now, one of the top things that people want in life is happiness. That was the number one. Hey, Jenny, what's going on? The number one thing people want is happiness. You know, and um, many people don't even feel happy and for many different diverse reasons. You know, maybe most of them because a job or, or a career owns them. They don't feel that happiness. And that's one of the things that people want the most. You know, and, and it's sad to say, but it's challenging when a job or a career owns you and you barely have a life but that falls also onto number two. Number two is not surprising for me. What do people want? They want money. Whether you like it or not, I don't understand it. And, and I don't want to get into like money is everything. Money is not everything. And many people say, well, money can't buy happiness. That's probably true. But just like my mentor, Jeff Altenberg says, I haven't seen many people who are happy broke. You know, so... Uh, that's, uh, hey, friend, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. And that's one of the things. One of the biggest challenge in money is not having enough nowadays. This is why people are actually looking for different options, different ways of making a source of income, a stream of income that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily have to be working for somebody else. So the spirit of the entrepreneur is taken within this decade, in this new millennium. It's growing fastly, massively all over the world and people are actually noticing that it's better off to work for yourself and create a stream of, of income than to work for somebody else and actually be held as a hostage for the rest of your life. So, and the third one, the top one, I'm going fast because we're going really out of time but I'm going to give you as I promised, all right? So, the third one, there was 10 of them, but I only took these three, and on the next, I will actually give more of this. It's freedom. Many people want freedom. And they say to themselves, how can I get that? You know, when you, at, when you look into this, there's a hitch in this. And there's a link between all these three, and they all link into money. Financial problems. People are divorcing. People are having, you know, problems with their spouses and, and love partners. They're even having problems with their children because of the lack of money, because they can't give what they would like to. You know, other kids see it. Now that happens, not necessarily, but it's freedom and peace. You see, the biggest challenge is not having a purpose-driven life. This is why people can't find that freedom and can't find that inner peace because they can't find a purpose-driven life that can guide them to their own freedom. Now, why are people feeling like this? Why are people feeling like they want all this stuff and they can't have it? Well, honestly, it all comes down to one word. 
And this world is changing lives, is changing the way human connects, is, is revolutionizing the whole world. This word is more, more than less empathy. This is what I wanted, Matt, I want you to know. How to give people mastering the art of empathy. And you might say, that, what is empathy? I wish you could see this, the, the, the slide I had for this. I had prepared a slide and everything was going in through uh, perfectly. Now, in Wikipedia says, it's the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Which is okay, it's okay. You know, I'm not gonna take out of context, but it's pretty good, it's okay. But here's what caught my attention doing my research. And I found this gentleman, he's a philosopher, he's actually, uh, he's really, he's, a, he's an author of a book called The Six Habits of Highly Empathic People. And this guy's amazing. I noticed that and I said, I like the way he put it, he says, that empathy is the art of stepping into other people's shoes and seeing the world through their eyes. Better, the perfect description of empathy that I have found. The best out there. This guy, he actually goes deep in depth with that. He speaks about his book also. And, and in, the, in the, uh, the next event on September 21st, I will be touching some of the habits of the highly empathetic people, empathic people. Now, but I, I really like that, that definition more than anything. His name is Roman Krasnik. You want to search him up on Google. He's, uh, he, I think he's from Oxford, uh, England, or Britain. I'm not sure, but he's from England, somewhere around there. So, with that being said, you know, throughout the years I found and I learned that the strongest skill in psychology nowadays is called empathy. And believe it or not, it is the most spoken subject in the decade. And although it is the most spoken subject in the decade, I have to tell you that the levels of empathy within the US, according to different type of studies and polls out there, has dropped almost or nearest almost near to 50%. So why did I choose how to give people what they want and not what they need? You see? A lot of people, we focus on what people are thinking as human, judgmental, and we think that people need what we want them to get, what we want to give them, or what we think they need. But we don't really do our search, you know, what they really want. For example, somebody who needs to lose weight might not want to lose weight by stop eating. And you might just want to tell them, well, just go on a diet, or here I have this super bionic, ultra, ultra bionic with super power pro uh, products that can take you all that. And although I love, I am, a, I am a fan of the natural industry and with the wellness and health and wellness, I have to say that there's a lot of misunderstandings out there, but that's not what I'm here for. So, well, because I think it's so necessary nowadays that we're living in an era, listen to this, of hyper-individualism. Hyper-individualism is, is no more or less than everybody's asking a simple question in their mind. Everybody's asking, what's in for me? So we're actually thinking of our benefit and not looking at people's pain and we're not, we're overpassing the most and the strongest skill of human communication. It's empathy. In fact, like I was saying before, in the US, the levels of empathy, I'm sorry if I'm dropping my head, I'm looking at my notes because I couldn't put my, um, my, my uh, PowerPoint in my slides. So I'm looking at my notes, don't feel bad. In fact, in the US, the levels of empathy have dropped nearly 50% in the last decade. People are not really looking into what people really want and not stepping into people's shoes to see their pain and see the world through their eyes. And we're forgetting about a lot of stuff. This is why you see a lot of bullying. You see a lot of things that be happening because at the end, people are not really caring for others. They're just trying to go out there. And especially in this marketing era 
where everything is, you know, you're being sold online, inline, offline. We have marketers. If you're connected here, if you're watching this, or you're going to watch this in a replay, maybe you're an online marketer, an affiliated marketer, a network marketer. Maybe you're, you're in sales, you're in direct sales. So you might be within that industry and you might have to trick a little bit your mind. And I'm not saying what they taught you is not correct. But we need to straighten up if we want better results in life. And the only way we're going to be able to really feel somebody else's pain is through empathy. Now, empathy is not just this softy thing and all fluffy and nice. It's not just something that can actually make your world better or make you better. And, and actually just, you know, making your universe a lot wider and bigger. But it's actually something that can revolutionize human communication. And this is something I'm going, to talk, I'm going to talk about a lot on September 21st. I'm going to go in depth with this. Empathy is known as the cornerstone of human relationships. You got that? The cornerstone of human relationships. In order for you to connect with people, if you're a speaker, a motivated speaker, if you're a coach, life coach, in order for you to connect with people, you must master the skill, the art of empathy. So, now, let me just, in case you know, if you open a psychology book, a textbook, they're going to give you two different type of empathies. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this now. And it's September 21st, which is our next event, Mastering the Art of Empathy in Entrepreneurs. In entrepreneurship, whether you just started anything, any entrepreneur journey, you want to attend the September 21st. It's going to be off the charts. It's going to be in Harbor Town, Perth and Boy, but I'm also going to do a live. We already got a salon. We already got like a big, big class there. It's going to be very nice. So how do we do that? Well, we got to see that in the psychology textbooks, they have two different types of empathies. One being effective empathy, taking notes, effective empathy. It's a shared emotional response. Hmm. Shared emotional response. If you are in any entrepreneurship journey, you know that people make decisions based on emotions. So stay tuned for September 21st. Now, it's sort of like, and I'm going to say it like this, it's sort of like really feeling the other person. So if you see somebody, like let's say you see a baby, you see a baby boy and he's crying and you kind of like feel that. You know, like, oh my God, he's crying. Now, it could be mixed because it could be mixed or misinterpreted with sympathy. They walk in two parallel lines, but they're not the same. Because em empathy is actually feeling the person's pain and what their needs or what they want. Sympathy is like a feeling sorry, like, ah, poor baby, you know, he's crying. But you don't do anything about it. So actually, sympathy, they look alike. But it's not, <laughs> it's not an, an emotional, it is an emotional response, but it's not one that's shared. You see the difference between empathy and sympathy? And compassion also goes within those lines. Now, the second type of empathy is cognitive empathy. This is the deep one. Cognitive empathy because this really is taking the perspective of others, really understanding what another person's life is. Like you see a homeless and not just feel pity or sorry about him, but think about what it, would be, what it would be to be that person to sleep in the winter under the bridge or in cardboard, to really be like that just every day literally hustling to eat something, you know? Um, really feel that pain of, of, of that person who just got their house repossessed, that person who, who, who receives a, a, you know, a, who receives the body of, of their children from the army and they couldn't see them anymore, really feeling that pain is cognitive empathy. One of the things that I put out as an example, I'm going to use Roman Karzanik, uh examples. He says that his, his, one of his kids, well, he got two kids, and when they were one years old, they were about a year apart, something or some months, the daughter actually saw the baby boy crying and gave her her teddy cat or teddy dog a year forward from that is actually saw the baby crying and they gave the baby boy what he really wanted his 
cat or his dog. So cognitive empathy is knowing what the people want in order to give it to them, not just giving them something to soothe up the little pain. Now, it doesn't matter what profession you're in right now. You know, always remember, everyone wants to be heard, felt, and understood. And everybody wants a place to belong. Everyone wants to belong somewhere and somewhere where they can be welcome and well received. So why it matters? Okay, I'm gonna be very honest and very simple. Well, most of you who connected on this webinar, Facebook webinar, are either marketers, affiliated marketers, network marketers, you're entrepreneurs, you're a business person. So why does it matter in our today, 2017, why does it matter empathy? We need to start taking out the mind, making our next sale just to make some numbers and really make a sell to really impact a life. So you can know what that person not only needs but wants and then you would actually have a friend, a customer and somebody who's gonna actually buy forever. And why is it important? Because we need it. And if you're not an entrepreneur, you if you're looking at this, you're looking into an entrepreneur journey. Pretty soon, you're looking into your entrepreneur journey. So you know you were here for some reason. I just want to let you know that, all right? So let me just tell you that if you find any value with uh, so far what we have, I'm closing up because we have this meeting, and I'm sorry I'm so brief with this. And um, but if you find any value, you know, on this webinar, show some love. Go ahead and share it up with the others so they can find the same and also be benefit from it. And be sure to like my page, like and share so you can be up to date and be up to on point for our next event on September 21st. So stay tuned and stay connected for my next event on September 21st, the Mastering the Art of Empathy in Entrepreneurs. If you are looking to finding really your passion working into your dreams and you want to achieve more in life than just making a sell i encourage you to attend september 21st mastering the art of empathy in entrepreneurs it's going to be my mind-blowing and it won't be as today i will be ready we have a powerpoint we have already the slides everything is set all it needs is your attendance all right guys so with that being said, I'm just going to give a few shout outs here from uh, all of you rock stars who made it here tonight. I know I was brief with it, but here we are. It's your Jersey boy, the voice of the change makers in the Northeast, giving you a little piece of my heart. Jose Birdie from the Manassas, Virginia, Noel Munoz, Jenny Jakes from Massachusetts, um, Jenny Domingo, well, she was from Chicago, now she's in Orlando, Florida. Fran Caceres, amazing entrepreneurs, amazing people, wonderful friends that make this possible. You guys are the biggest blessing God has given me for me to continue, continue delivering with passion. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I hope this you found some value with this. I know it was brief and it was short, but straight to the point. How to give people what they want, mastering the art of empathy. First it was a question, now it's your answer. All right guys, until the next one, I love you guys. Thank you for joining, thank you for connecting. Big hugs from here from New Jersey. We're gonna start, gonna get started over here. So stay connected, stay tuned, God bless you all, and I'll see you all over the top. All right, let's go.